Updated August 4, 2018 21 hours 46 minutes and 26 seconds The Roosters spoil the plans of Jonathan Thurston and the Cowboys. While Parramatta gets a rare win and the Warriors beat the Dragons away from home. No joy for JT as Roosters beat Cowboys to Sydney Roosters have continued to warm up for the NRL Finals by surviving a late scare from North Queensland to claim their fourth straight win in the NRL. The Roosters appeared set for a cricket score when Daniel Tupo dived over to kick his team out to a comfortable 18-point lead midway through the second half on Saturday. But a 58th minute try to Jonathan Thurston kick-started a Cowboys comeback, and the visitors got within six on Gavin Cooper's effort not long after. With momentum on their side, the visitors, who were near perfect with 33 completions from 34 sets, had a number of looks at the Roosters' tree line that had the 9,721 Sydney Football Stadium crowd on edge. However the Roosters held on to prevail 26-20 and set up a mouth-watering clash with ladder leaders and fierce rivals South Sydney next Friday. The loss for the Cowboys, as well as Parramatta's win earlier on Saturday, also means Thurston remains in danger of retiring with the wooden spoon. The Townsville-based side are now equal with the Eels on 12 points with four games to go. Latrell Mitchell picked up where he left off from last week's true scoring feat when he opened the scoring courtesy of Boyd Cordner's quick hands in the 12th minute. Cowboys star Jason Town Lolo responded by stampeding over James Tedesco not long after, before the Roosters kicked ahead on one of the tries of the season by Joseph Manu. The Rooster centre produced a goose step and fend on Justin O'Neill before flicking back to Blake Ferguson, who kicked ahead for Manu to soar and finish. Two penalty goals from Mitchell ensured the Roosters were up by eight at the break, and a big score loomed when Blake Ferguson crossed early in second half. Thurston finished the night with 12 individual points to take him to 2,180 career points, moving past Andrew Johns' 2,176, to become the third highest point scorer of all time. Dragons' comeback falls short against Warriors The Warriors have inched to within sight of NRL top 8 safety. After they held out a second-half comeback to beat St George Illawarra 18-12 in Wollongong, They scored three times while Matt Dufty was in the sin bin to take an 18-0 lead into half-time on Saturday, but had to defend a six-point lead for the final half-hour following the Dragons' two-try start to the second half. But with just 38% of the ball and a 6-1 penalty count against him after the break, the Warriors' defence made 43 more tackles than their opponents to claim the win. Roger Tuivasashek starred with 222 metres and a crucial try-saving strip over the line in the first half, while Isaac Luke was also good and centre Solomon Catta scored a double. The win marked their first in Wollongong since 1996 and moved them back to four points ahead of the ninth-placed Wests Tigers with four rounds to play. It means just two more wins from their final four games would almost certainly be enough to qualify the Warriors for their first final series since 2011. In turn, the Dragons have lost four of their past five and could fall back level on points with fifth and sixth placed Penrith and Cronulla if the two teams win on Sunday. Making matters worse for the Saints will be fears over an ankle injury for New South Wales prop Paul Vaughan after he was hurt in the 11th minute and did not return. After the Warriors led 2-0 following an uneventful opening half-hour, the match turned when Dragons fullback Dufty was sent binned for impeding to Ivasashek on a kick chase. The visitors then got their first try in the set immediately after the offence when Kata crossed off and Isaiah Papali offload in the left-hand corner. Luke was the next to score when Jazz Tebaga got away a late offload close to the line before. 
Canna crossed off a three-man cutout ball from Blake Green just as Duff D returned to the field. Cameron McInnes and Luciano Lila were crossed for the hosts in the 10 minutes after the break but they couldn't make use of the weight of territory and possession in the second half to land the win. Eels take care of the tight hands Parramatta centre Jared Hayne featured in a game tilting run against his former club as the Eels improved their chances of avoiding a third NRL wooden spoon in seven years with a 28-12 win over Gold Coast. It was the fifth win of the season for the Eels, who scored just six points after half-time and had captain Tim Manor sent to Sinbin with 13 minutes to go in Saturday's Olympic Stadium encounter. Payne, who finished 2016 at the Titans and spent 2017 there, didn't have much impact early on, gifting the Gold Coast a scrum feed 20 metres out from his own line after losing the ball. But he worked his way into the game and played a big role in the Eels' decisive surge late in the first half, as they piled on 16 points in 10 minutes to lead 22-6 at half-time. He showed great strength and footwork to brush off three defenders to score the Eels' second try. Hayne was instrumental in setting up a try for winger Bevan French with the Eels' other wide. Man George Jennings crossing after some slip passing from 5'8th Corey Norman and fullback Clint Gutherson. Titans squandered several great second-half opportunities either side of winger Anthony Don sprinting 90 metres for his second try after intercepting a Mitchell Moses pass. Fullback Michael Gordon dropped the ball over the line and centre Conrad Hurrell lost the ball just short of the line. Potential tries to Sammy and captain Ryan James were rubbed out for forward passes and half-back AJ. Brimson had a clear passage to the line but dropped a pass from Mitch Rain. Gordon missed all three of his conversion attempts. Manor was simbined for multiple ruck indiscretions but the only score that came while he was off was the clinching try from 5'8", Corey Norman who pounced on his own kick. Manor and Lock Nathan Brown provided Parramatta plenty of go forward with their powerful running, while halves Norman and Moses impressed with their playmaking options. Prop Manor scored the first points when he smashed through three defenders to notch his first try in 31 games. NRL Ladder Ratch, AAP Topics, NRL, Rugby League, Sport, New South Wales, Australia, Sydney 2000, New Zealand, Parramatta 2150, Queensland, Rabina 4226, Townsville 4810 First posted August 4, 2018 14 hours 37 minutes and 2 seconds.